Kayla, I'm not hearing you. Can you hear me? No, I can. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So as I was saying, I'm Kayla with National Training. We're going to have Frank Bradley, who is our wonderful friend over at Covenant Transportation, join us here in just a few minutes. And while a few more people are signing on this evening, we're going to go through some housekeeping material. You might be joining us via your desktop computer or your laptop, maybe even your smartphone or your tablet. So you're going to see some icons on your screen for this go-to webinar. Icon number one is going to be this red microphone. I can either mute or unmute everybody all at once. Um, and in a little while, we'll open up the mic so that you can ask some questions as well. Number two here is the hand. Everybody can raise their hand. And if you can hear me, go ahead and raise your hand for me. Messiah, I see you on here. Awesome, thank you. And then I can put everybody's hands down all at once. Then number three is gonna be our question icon. If you do have any questions or if I'm going too fast or if you wanna want me to elaborate on something a little more, you can go ahead and type that into the chat and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. And then we also have the cameras. We're not gonna use the cameras tonight just for the matter of some people are in a more rural situation and we don't want to take away the bandwidth. That way everybody's able to hear us clearly and see what we are discussing here. So who we are, National Training was incorporated in 1978 as a proprietary post-secondary vocational education institution. We are committed to providing a strong curricula with programs that emphasize practical, usable skills blended with a relevant general education foundation. We have a caring environment with personal attention and close faculty-student interaction with an open door admission policy. We are Florida's oldest private truck driving school. We have a state-of-the-art training facility and our one and a quarter mile multi-lane highway ensures a safer, more efficient training. We have graduated over 40,000 students since 1978. So we are in our 44, 44th year of business. So why drive a truck for a living? Simply put, job security. And speaking of job security, we're gonna join Mr. Frank Bradley on here now with us to go over what they have to offer at Covenant Transportation. Frank, thanks for joining us this evening. Frank, can you hear us? I know Frank is driving this evening, so he's gonna be joining us via the phone. Let me see if we can get him on here. Frank, can you hear me? I can now, yeah, now that I'm, I'm muted. Perfect. Thanks for joining us tonight, Frank. You're more than welcome. Thank you for inviting me on. We always enjoy your company. So if you would, let's just talk a little bit about Covenant Transportation. Can you tell us a little bit about the company itself? Maybe the history? Yeah, so, um, myself, I have terrible feedback on this on the phone. Let me see if I can mute this or something. I don't know if that's any better. It's a little better. I'm getting a repeat and an echo of everything I'm saying. Look, look, I did manage to get to the hotel. Let me see if I can get it on the computer. Okay. <laughs> right, I went ahead and muted him for just a few minutes while he gets a little situated there with his feedback on his volume. So while he's working on that, we'll go through a few more things about the school here just to keep the ball rolling. At our facility, we have thousands of drivers who had their very first truck driving experience in our truck. Our trucks, we have cab over engines with a sleeper, your conventional condos, your sleepers, and your day cabs. If you've never seen inside of a CDL tractor trailer, this is something what it's gonna look like for you. You're gonna have your driver's seat, your co-pilot seat, which oftentimes 
has a swivel on it so that you can use it as seating inside of your cab. The area over here where your bunk is, um, most of them can be converted into a dinette situation here where you have a little table and some booth-like seating. Lots of storage because you guys are going to be living in these trucks if you're going over the road. You want to have plenty of room to store all of your, all of your belongings. You're going to have your shifter, you know, like, as I said, your co-pilot seat here that you can use as additional seating as well. Most companies are going to put a microwave, maybe a mini fridge. Some of them will put a TV. Um, some of them will even put a satellite dish on your, on your truck for you, but that's different with each company. Different driving jobs that you guys might be available to. You can haul freights of all kinds. Remain primarily in a specified area of the country. Most offer weekly home time, great pay, steady runs, and company benefits. And just a little bit on the driver pay scale before we see if we're able to hear Mr. Frank again. The general freight trucking, the percentage of the industry employment is about 61.55%. These numbers are based off of 2019 to 2020, so that's only increased since then. Your average annual salary to start out would be $46,250 a year. As I said, that number has only increased over the last couple of years. The industry has absolutely exploded. Let's see if we can hear Mr. Frank now. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, Frank. Well, that's much better. Yeah, much unfortunately, better. I, I, yeah, I did manage to get to the hotel, so I did manage to go into the get, get the uh, computer going, and I had oh. the phone going as well. I think that's what the issue was. Might have been, so, yeah. yes, sir. <laughs> no problem. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, so my name's Frank Bradley. I'm the recruiter of Covenant Transport that comes into National. Um, been coming in to see their students for about seven years now. Um, you see on the computer there, David Parker started the company and he's with his wife Jacqueline um, 35 years ago. So basically, we're one of the companies that come in and we hire graduates straight from truck driving school. We don't uh, necessarily require experience, uh, although we do have ex we do hire experienced drivers. But we're one of those co uh, companies that specialises in taking students straight from school and getting them trained up. Uh, in the way that uh, the different companies would like their professional drivers to uh, learn the trade. Absolutely, you guys do a great job at transitioning those student drivers into well-seasoned drivers for a career. Absolutely, yeah, thank you. So tell us a little bit about the driving opportunities with Covenant Transportation. Right, so I'll go through the basics. Um, you obviously pulled up the, uh, the application there. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we do recommend when I come in and do a presentation uh, is for your uh, students to fill out an application with Covenant and of course some people need um, financing to get into a truck driving school mm -hmm. and they can actually fill in an application with Covenant even prior to getting their permit or even prior to enrolling into a school and we will actually give them a pre-hire if they qualify for us so that can help them get their um, their pre-hire to get the actual finance to get into the truck driving school. So that's one thing that uh, we work both together with uh, with yourselves. Um, Absolutely. So yeah, yeah. So if you get the pre-hire with Covenant, we we don't um, have contracts at Covenant. So if you do get the pre-hire, it's basically it's a job offer. Should you wish to choose to take us up on it, um, just hold that on file. I recommend you do that for other companies as well. Get as many job offers as early as you can into your truck driving school. Uh, that way, um, once you hear the different recruiters that come in to see you, you already have that offer from that company. It makes it a lot easier to arrange to get to their orientation. Wonderful. So as far as when you hire those student drivers that are right out of school, what can they expect to be looking at as far as pay or opportunity with Covenant? Right, so if you just scroll up a little bit more um, to the student part, there you go. So with Covenant, we hold our orientation in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We provide their travel to orientation. 
We also provide their accommodation, give them three meals a day, and once they're activated, uh, we pay them $220 for the three-day orientation. Now, when they come in, they'll be going out with a trainer. So the student part is, it's 140 hours of driving out there with their uh, trainer. Once they complete that 145 hours, we get them back into our terminal in Chattanooga. Well, we've got two driving simulators, very much like your ones that you have there. Now, the reason, yeah, the reason we do that is, more often than not, you don't get to experience um, some of that inclement or winter weather driving while you're out there with the trainer. So we like to be able to get you through some of those experiences on the simulator because obviously at some part in your career in the future, you're probably going to meet those conditions. While they are a student, if they come in without the hazmat, we pay them a salary of $700 per week. Once they, uh, if they get the hazmat and come in with it, it's $725 a week. If they do come in without the hazmat though, we will assist you to get it. And as you see there, we will actually pay for the hazmat for you. If you do come in with it, bring your receipt with you and we'll reimburse you for it. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, once they finish with the um, student part, now we do require them to team up with a co-driver for the next 90 days. Okay. Now you'll, you'll see here with the cents per mile, it, it's basically, uh, as a team driver, the first 60 days of that 90. Uh, and just bear in mind that if they do come in without the hazmat, we should get uh, get them the hazmat by that point. So we now start them out on cents per mile. So it's 65 cents per mile for the first 60 days. And the easiest way to explain that, and I'll let you know, uh, your people are on there know that between the two um, dollar figures there, the lower figure is based on a 4,000 mile week. The higher figure is based on a 6,000 mile week. So typically our drivers run 5, 000, average 5,000 miles. So they're gonna be typically in the middle of that bracket. But within, uh, after the first month of being at Covenant, um, they can pretty much be guaranteed that at least 4,000 miles a week. So they're gonna be getting $1,300 um, be between that and, and 1950. Now, after 60 days, that then goes up to 72 cents per mile, as you can see down below. Now, after, so yeah, so after 60 days um, teaming, it goes to 72 cents per mile. After six months with the company, it goes to 76 cents per mile. And after a year, it goes to 80 cents per mile. Now, once they finish that 90 days teaming, they do have a couple of options. They can continue to team again. That's where you make the better money out there in trucking. But look, teaming is not for everybody. So we then give them the option to go solo. Now, a lot of people do think that Covenant is just a teaming company. Well, actually, 30% of our trucks are solo trucks. And they're mainly over the road solo. But we do have dedicated and regional accounts as and when those come available in their area. Now, you'll see with the family plan and buddy plan training, uh, we, we do hire a lot of your students and they decide to come in together. Now, with a family plan, this is a very uh, important thing that we introduce. So if there's a driver at Covenant and their spouse or their uh, friend or their um, relative come, comes through truck driving school, as long as they have over 10 months experience, we will actually let that person train their family member or partner. Now, if they're at another company, again, if, if the, the experienced driver is at another company, they can come into Covenant with the student. And again, if they've got over 10 months uh, over road experience, they can actually be that person's trainer. Now with the buddy plan, this allows like two of your guys that maybe come into school together because they want to run team together mm -hmm. or a 
um, two students have just happened to meet up during your three to four weeks that they, uh, they're they training there together with you. And they can then decide that, you know, we like the sound of that, you know, we're going to earn a lot more money. So as long as they let their recruiter know that they're coming in together, we are one of the few companies that will actually train them together. So that's quite a good plan. Yeah, absolutely. These people want to make sure that they're compatible to do this actual team driving. Yes, I know, I know you guys actually hired a couple of students last year that were that met in class and ended up teaming together. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, I love all the opportunity for advancement and different changes that you can make as a driver with Covenant. Now, can we talk a little bit about your benefits? Yeah, as absolutely. A, as a company. Yeah. Um, do you mind just going back to the previous page? Because yeah. one of the benefits we do have is the tuition reimbursement. Oh. So which is down at the bottom of that page. Um, so the t there it is there in, in the bold writing. So with our tuition reimbursement, we pay. To, so obviously your students are going to be paying for the school, whether they pay for themselves or take out some finance with you or another institution. We actually pay them $250 a month. Um, starting 30 days after they've come to Covenant and that payment that 250 carries on every month up until we've paid them back for the truck driving school or up to a total of ten thousand dollars which I don't know and you probably are not sure but I don't think there's many companies truck driving schools charging ten thousand dollars so not you know with, <laughs> with what you uh, you your students pay at your school they'll be uh, covered completely. Absolutely, that's awesome. So it's really, you know, an investment upfront, but it really has that very fast turnaround to recuperate that investment that they made. Yes, indeed. That's wonderful. So I see yeah, all the so different levels here that we were talking about as far as pay and student pay progression. Now, what about yeah. like health insurance and, and things like that for your company? Yeah, so with the benefits, we have medical, dental and vision. Uh, the medical is done through Cigna. It's available for them to take out after 60 days with Covenant if they choose ours. Now, there's three levels of cover. They can have it for themselves only, their sales and spouse or their sales and uh, family. Now, I do know if they take it out for themselves only, the premium starts around about $35 per week. And we also have a, you can see, see there with a 401k. Now with the 401k, it's available after six months with the, with the company. And we do have a match program. Now Covenant will match 50% of the first 6% of their paycheck that they opt to put into that 401k. One thing I will add for your students, we have some partner schools that we have some great relationships with, and uh, we were allowed to include five or six of our schools in our particular areas where we can offer an activation bonus to the student. So obviously, you know, I chose you as one of my um, schools. And I it's that. Yeah, of course. Um, so it's a thousand dollar activation bonus. And how that works for the students, while they're doing their 145 hours of training, obviously they're on that salary of 700 or 725 so when they get activated in orientation and get onto the truck with their trainer they now get a 500 dollars uh, activation bonus when they complete their training off the trainer's truck and start the teaming phase they get the other 500 dollars activation bonus on top of that week's check Wow, that's great. I mean, who doesn't like a $1,000 bonus? No kidding, especially in that <laughs> first month and you've laid out all that money for the school, you know? Absolutely. You're still trying to get your foot back in the door and, and get yourself resituated with all of that. So that's a great opportunity for people. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the equipment that you guys have, your trucks? And your trailers? Yeah, so we mainly, we mainly have, uh, it, it's modern equipment, you know, uh, but we mainly have the Freightliner Cascadias and the average age of our fleet right now is about 22 months old. It is one of the youngest fleets out there. So if any of your students do decide to come to Covenant, they definitely will be driving some good modern equipment. 
hey, you can't beat that. You want to make sure you have a good quality truck that you're going across the country and no, nothing that's going to break down on you. So that's, that's always that's nice. Right. I know every time I see your trucks out on the road, I always admire that they are very nice equipment and, and mm. you guys take good care of those. So that makes a what, huge difference. Yeah, we certainly do. Wonderful. So as far as the company itself, we've gone over the pay, we've gone over your benefits, gone over your equipment. What is there anything else that stands out that you'd like to discuss or explain to our our, our potential students here? Yeah, I mean, I can give them some, uh, obviously on the pay, the ranges. Now, one thing I didn't get to mention, uh, once, they, um, once they've been at Covenant a year, so just give you an idea of the earnings on Covenant last year, the average annual pay for the top 20% of hazmat teams last year. Now, these are not necessarily the drivers that have been there the longest. These are the ones that want to stay out on the road to run the miles. The average annual pay last year was over $80,000 each driver. Now, once if they decide to go down the route which I did and become a trainer for Covenant, they can do that after 10 months with Covenant therefore passing their knowledge onto the new drivers coming into the industry. The average annual pay for the top 20% of trainers last year was over $100,000. So they can see where it can make that leap less than one year into their career. Wonderful. So definitely a one lot thing, of room one, for growth. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Now, one thing that Andrew um, uh, does bring up occasionally when, we, when we're talking about these, obviously time you know, permitting, mm -hmm. is about obviously we're in the winter time at the moment. Now, we, we pride ourselves on safety at Covenant. Now, we have at, at Covenant uh, all year a full-time meteorologist, Jonathan Hunter. Now, he keeps our drivers informed of where there's bad weather and storms, tornadoes, winter weather, shutdowns, things like that. Obviously, DOT up in the northwest and in the northeast, we've all seen what, what kind of weather they've been getting. The DOT will quite often shut roads down to especially high vehicles with you know bad weather and high winds and things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, with Covenant, um, and by the way, in the winter time, we hire three or four part-time meteorologists because obviously there's a lot more weather going on, but Jonathan's there full-time throughout the year. Now, we'll quite often shut our, um, our trucks down way before it gets bad enough that the DOT decides to do it because we'll either, we're keeping an eye on that weather. We'll either route them around where that weather's going to and we'll basically... Uh, get in touch with our customers if they're picking up a load or delivering a load and let them know our customers actually appreciate that we do this because look let's face it the customer would rather get the, the freight albeit a, a rescheduled appointment than a chance of it not even arriving at all for obvious obvious reasons absolutely so, yeah so now again with covenant look obviously you're down there in florida you know I'm, i live in florida too now mm -hmm. A lot of our drivers that we hire out of Florida, look, a lot of them haven't seen that that kind of weather, you know, certainly maybe not driven in it. If they have, certainly not driven commercial vehicles in it, you know. Most so definitely. one thing that we have, yeah, one thing we have at Covenant, if any of our drivers, um, we, we use what we call Qualcomm and we have uh, macros on there. So one of them is what we call a macro 39. So if any of our drivers... Now, obviously, everyone's got different experience levels, skill levels, and things like that. If at any point they don't feel safe in the conditions they're out in, whether it be snow, whether it be high winds, heavy rains, doesn't matter, we get them to find a, a, the, the closest, safest place to park, not the side of the road, not on ramps or off ramps, a rest area or a truck stop, and they send in a Macro 39. Now, a lot of us have smartphones now with the weather app. Mm -hmm. We can say we can look and see when that's going through and just let your fleet manager know, hey, look, it looks like it's going to be about two to three hours before this weather at the front is going to be through. Look, I don't feel safe. I'm just going to have to sit here and, and let this ride out because, you know, I don't want to risk having an accident and we don't want them to risk having an accident, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, so that's that. And that's not a problem. 
Um, like more often than not, we already know that weather's in the area. So, um, but like I say, I've been driving 30 years. I've probably got a little bit more um, comfortable in the conditions than someone that comes straight out of Florida and has never seen snow. So <laughs> just, yeah. So just because I feel comfortable driving in those conditions, it doesn't mean the new drivers do. So that's a great way of keeping their safety record and obviously keeping them safe. Wonderful. So I love that you guys are safety driven. That's absolutely the backbone of it is the safety because that's what we preach here as well at national training. You know, safety always comes first. So that's a well, great that insight because you don't hear about a lot of companies that have, like you said, an on staff meteorologist to make sure that their drivers are safe. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, a great, we, we, great we pride ourselves on that. Thank you, Carla. Kayla. Absolutely. Well, Frank, it has been great speaking with you. Is there anything you feel like we haven't covered this evening? No, unless any of your guys want to jump in and, and ask anything. I mean, I, I'm here for questions. I mean, obviously, I can't go into as much as I would in a full presentation, uh, at, obviously, on site, you know. Um, but I can certainly go over the basics and the benefits of, uh, you know, what Covenant can offer your students. If there's anything I haven't covered that they'd like to know a little bit more about and you have time, I certainly have time to answer any questions they might have. Most definitely. I know I see a question in here. How quick is the turnaround as far as when they graduate to getting a job, typically? Right. So if they fill in the application while they're in school, um, it takes two to three days once they fill in the application to hear back and get their pre-hire. Okay. Now, w once they get their pre-hire, so this is why I say to them, do it as early as you can. It's just a job offer sitting on the table. We, we, there's no commitments. We don't make them sign contracts. If they then, when they get towards the end of their school or they're just about to graduate, they decide that covenants for them. Let's say they test out on Friday and everything goes well and they get their license, they pass the test and, and it's all good. They could, they can Friday or Saturday, they can call their recruiter. Um, they'll each have an individual recruiter that, that sets up their orientation. And we hold orientation every Monday and every Wednesday. So they could literally test out Friday and they can be in orientation on Monday. Now, Wonderful. some people do need to take some time off. We understand, you know, people have got pets that they've got to make arrangements for because they'll be out on the road for three to four weeks. So it's up to them. We don't give them a date when they have to be in orientation. They let us know what date they want to attend and we just set that all up for them. So, yeah, not a problem. So it sounds like it's a really quick turnaround. That's awesome. Because, you mm -hmm. know, as you said, some people might need to take some time off, but some people need to get right to work because they've already taken four weeks off to come to school. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So it's at their own time frame. We can get them in that on that very next orientation. Fabulous. Now, you mentioned pets. Do you mm -hmm. guys have a pet policy? We do. Yeah. So with the pet policy, it's a $10 per week payment. Uh, up till we've collected $750, it's non-refundable. And the reason we do that, uh, to be honest, it, a lot of companies are going away from their pet policy. There's yes. been quite a few relate, related incidents and accidents due to the distraction factor. Now, with that in mind, part of that money goes towards the added insurance policy because of the distraction factor. Mm -hmm. But also, when we take their truck off them to give them a brand new one, we may not be trading it out at that point. We may be giving it to another driver coming into the company. So we're probably going to have to detail that quite a bit more than a regular truck because obviously some people have pet allergies. Absolutely. On the back of that, we do also have a rider policy for our solo drivers and the rider can go with them for um, as long as they like or as many times as they like throughout the year. Now, the only stipulation we have with the rider policy is that if it's children, they must be at least 13 years old, and that's for safety reasons. Understandable. Well, that's great. So people can have like their spouse or a family mm -hmm. member, or like you said, even their older child, ride with them to kind of see what it's like to be a truck driver. Absolutely. Wonderful. Um, now, how about, do you guys have a policy on people who are immigrants to the country who might not be a, a citizen yet, but as long as they have documentation and they're obviously their CDL license. 
yeah, I mean, you can probably hear by my accent. Uh, I, I mean, I was in exactly that same boat, you know. Uh, so come over the visa, had all my documents, my work authorization, my I-9 documents. Yeah, as long as all their documents are in order, there's no stipulation. Um, there's no, we don't have a minimum time. You have to hold a American uh, regular car driving license before you can come in. The CDL could be the first license you get when you get in the country, and obviously that covers everything. Uh, there's no stipulation. It has to be six months or a year. I know some companies do, but we don't. So yeah, no problem on that whatsoever. That's great. So I am going to open up the board here. If anybody has any questions for Frank before we proceed on with our school presentation. Um, Brandon, did you have any questions for Frank or Covenant? If you have any questions, Brandon, you can go ahead and unclick your mute, your microphone. Okay, Jerino Smith, I know we just answered the question that you had, um, but if you had any other questions, feel free to go ahead and unmute yourself. I know we do cover quite a lot in our uh, webinars here, so yeah. you know I understand if they don't have any any questions. Of course, a lot of the students I'm going to probably end up seeing in class anyway because I do come round every month and and speak to each new class. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if you guys have any questions and you you think of them over time, you can always type them in the chat. I can answer most of them for you. Um, if not, we can definitely point you in the right direction for that. Um, if anybody does have any questions, go ahead and raise your hand for me. I can get to you each individually. All right, I'm not seeing any hands go up, Frank. We really appreciate you joining us as always. And thank you so much for coming on tonight and taking some time out of your evening to, to talk with our friends here. No problem, more than happy. Uh, thank you and uh, like I say, let's continue our success. Uh, you know, hiring your students and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yes, sir. We'll see you then. You have a safe route around the country here. <laughs> I will do. Thank you, Kayla. Take care. Thanks, Good night, Frank. everyone. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. So just to continue on with our presentation of the school here and go through a little bit more information about our facility and our training program. Again, if I'm going too fast or if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. So our school qualifications, we are going to review your driving record, your criminal background, your physical abilities. We want to make sure everybody is able to safely get in and out of the trucks, be able to withstand the weather because you are outside a lot while you're here. We do administer drug screening on the first day of class and that is absolutely required, everybody has to take a drug test. And most important, we want to know your intensity to succeed. We ensure that you can benefit from this training before you start. And by doing that, we're just making sure, are you employable? Our training is a four week residence hands-on training. We have a 350 acre campus here in Green Cove Springs, Florida. We are just south of Jacksonville, so the Northeast Florida region. It's a very vast piece of, piece of property here. We have this one and a quarter mile track, and this is where we're gonna teach you how to drive before you ever leave our property. We wanna make sure that you are capable of upshifting, downshifting, and stopping that 70 foot tractor trailer before you are dealing with the intensity of traffic and other drivers and other distractions on the road. You have this controlled environment that really makes a huge difference in your learning process. We do have a simulator, as Frank kind of mentioned, they have those as well at Covenant. It's a state-of-the-art simulator. We utilize this with every class. So if you're having any difficulties with a particular situation, whether it be your backing or your shifting, we can get you in here with one of our instructors, Ms. Shana. She does a great job with all of our students on the simulator. We can practice those skills that you are needing a little more attention with, and it's a one-on-one -on -one situation there. Career services, we do have lifetime job placement assistance here. So no matter how long you have been a graduate of national training, we are gonna help you find employment 
if you decide that you're ready to change companies or change the type of driving that you're doing, we're more than happy to help you with finding the right company. We start working with students on the very first day of resident training school, and we have multiple companies that come in and speak with you guys while you're here in school. We use one-on-one -on -one private counseling sessions to direct our students to companies that would be a good match for both the company and the student. We wanna make sure that you guys are with a company that you can stick with for at least one year. We do have a job board. If any of you are alumni, or once you do graduate, you can go on our website, truckschool.com slash jobs, and we can help you find a job there. We post weekly updates on all the different job opportunities throughout the country, not just based off of where our school is located. We do get a lot of students that come in from out of town, whether it be a different town in Florida or out of state. We do have a hotel that is close by, about seven miles from our training facility. It's a Green Cove Springs Inn. Each room is equipped with a microwave, refrigerator, free cable and with HBO and free Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is really, really fast. A lot of people like to bring their PlayStation or their laptops and they can get online and the Wi-Fi is more than capable of handling that load. We do have special rates for national training students. A double occupancy room is 902 for four weeks. Breaks down to about $34 a night. Now we'll talk a little bit about the cost, fees and financing for our training program. The tuition itself is $6,495. We offer financing with outside financing with banks and credit unions. We use workforce, vocational rehab, veterans benefits, whether it be your GI Bill or vocational veterans rehab, um, TAA, income share agreements like MIA share, that's who we partner with here. And our most common use of finance is our in-house financing. As Frank mentioned, most companies are gonna to offer tuition reimbursement where they pay you back for coming to school. After all, we have been doing this for a long time. It's all good, we have it all. We have the companies and the jobs. We have the industry recognition. Most companies that you go to work for are gonna know who we are. We've been around for, like I said, almost 44 years. We have impeccable governmental relations, guaranteed tuition financing for everyone. That's our in-house finance program. We have over 38,000 graduates that came possibly before you. We have a program that is really fun to complete. Our instructors love to make the interactions and the learning fun here, because that's really how you retain the most information. And we have an awesome training facility. We appreciate all of our students from the Department of Veterans Affairs program, Department of Vocational Rehab programs, state vocational rehab programs, state workforce programs, and the Bureau of Indian Affairs. National training is where the trucking companies come for new drivers. As we mentioned, Mr. Frank with Covenant Transport, he comes to every single class that we have, TMC, um, night transportation, Windy Hill foliage. These are just a few of the companies that we have relationships with. We have relationships with over 150 different companies because we can always want to be able to offer the most opportunity to, to all of our students, no matter what they're looking for out of their career. Once again, I'm gonna open up the mics to any questions that might be brought up. I'm going to go ahead and go through the list here, and if anybody has any questions, feel free to unmute yourself when I call your name. Brandon Johnson, did you have any questions for me this evening? Brandon, if you can hear me, you can go ahead and click the unmute button and ask your question if you have anything. Okay, Jerino Smith, did you have any other questions for us this evening? You can click your unmute button if you do. All right, how about Messiah Sears? Do you have any questions for me this evening, Messiah? Hmm. 
Okay, looks like one more. Sergio, do you have any questions for me this evening in regards to our school or the industry? All right, everybody, let's see here. So just some special announcements. That one's a little old. Um, we have an open house. It's actually gonna be March 5th. The date didn't get changed on this, so I do apologize. March 5th, 2022 at 9.30 a.m. We always encourage everybody to come. And if you have any friends or family you wanna bring with you, by all means, please, please do so. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for attending our truck webinar tonight. Contact your representative or our admissions office first thing tomorrow. Our 1-800 number is 1-800-488-7364. Again, that's 1-800-488-7364. We do have a local number as well. That's gonna be 904-272-4000. And anyone who answers the phone will be more than happy to help you out. Jarino, I see you, you did have a question. I answered the first question about um, people from out of the country if they if Covenant hires them. You said being from the Bahamas, what is required for me to enter the school? So Jarino, in order to do that, you would have to be able to obtain residency in the US and obtain a United States driver's license. And I'd be happy to go over that in more detail with you if you wanna give our office a call tomorrow. Again, you can call 1-800. 488-7364 or 904-272-4000. Again, that's area code 904-272-4000. I'll be happy to go over all of the details with that, with you with that. Guys, your lost time is costing you big money. It's all good, just make sure you call. Thank you guys again for attending our webinar tonight. You can please sign off by going to file, exit, leave webinar. Again, that's file, exit, leave webinar. Thank you guys so much for attending. Look forward to meeting each and every one of you. That's okay, Jarino. If you if you want to give us a call, you can definitely do so tomorrow. I unmuted you. If you want to go ahead and try and talk, I'd be happy to answer your question. Oh, could you hear me now? I can. Oh yes, but I was trying to find out. Um, being uh from the Bahamas, what I wanted to know was what was law required for me to attend the school. So you would have to gain residency in the U.S. and be able to obtain a United States driver's license. Oh wow. Now, we do, are you looking specifically to do CDL driving, or were you looking for more like heavy equipment operating? CDL driving. Yeah, so, you know, unfortunately, with the federal regulations, we have to have, you have to have a U.S. driver's license in order to attend our school. Okay. Well, my parents live over there, but um, they are currently going through uh, applying for me. I don't know how long that's going to take. Okay. So I just wanted to know how long, I mean, in advance, because that's what I'm really interested in coming. And is there an age limit on, on students? So 21 is the standard age for CDL driving. And that is because under 21, there's a lot of restrictions that are for individuals under 21 years of age. Well, so it's no, because um, I'm 37. I'm just no. wondering if I give it a cutoff age. No, there's no, definitely not a cutoff age. And 37, okay. that's like our prime number right there. So you're you're perfectly fine with that. All right, awesome. So if you're uh, able to, you know, gain gain residency in the U.S. and obtain a, a U.S. driver's license, we can most definitely explore all the options of getting you into our school. Oh, awesome! Thanks. You're very welcome. You have a wonderful evening and thanks for joining us tonight. All right, I appreciate it. Have a great night, Jarino. You too. Thank you.